five minutes. How much time you, you I need? I think we need 10 minutes. 10 it minutes? Like 35 is so You can't. Short. Heads. I go first. Beautiful. I love the hands here and the smaller your back. Beautiful. Don't move. Siri, set timer, 12 minutes. Aww. Ah, I hate pressure. See how I'm creating angles with my body? And then we're either going to come in here, right? Or somehow here. I hope this picture looks good because I'm putting all my eggs in one basket here. Size matters. It's snowing. I really want to use this. There we go. One, two, one, two. Eyes up at me. Preemptively voting. I mean, you haven't seen the final image. How do you know? Unless you voted for me. Did they vote for me? They voted for Alyssa? Yeah. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Sincata vs. Sincata. And uh, off air, I was just reminded that this is the officially the third Sincata vs. Sincata. And Alyssa and I are one and one. So today, for Christmas, you will give us the tiebreaker. I mean, it's very important. I hope you guys can do it. Um, <laughs> what's up, everybody? Welcome uh, to this webinar. We're going to have a good time today. It's uh, Sincata vs. Sincata. It's not like some death match, right? Uh, it's just we're having a good time. Um, unless Alyssa wins, then it's a death match, I, I suppose. Uh, and just before, well, before we get started, you're going to see a chat on the right-hand side of the screen, I'm assuming, ladies. Uh, my team's in the chat, so if you have questions as we go, please uh, throw them into the chat, absolutely. And make sure, girls, we make a post in, like, the Shutterfest group. Uh, okay, perfect. Well, why am I telling them what to do? They already know. So... Uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun today, but like I said, throw your uh, questions in there. Now, Sincata versus Sincata, what is it all about? You know, I think competition is good for the soul. Uh, you got to push each other a little bit, a little shit talking. That's always fun. Photographers, we tend to be creatives and artists, and we hate competition. We hate anybody watching what we're doing. Well, today you get to watch live as I work and Alyssa works and how we work and how differently we work and how differently uh, we see the world. And this has been fun for me because as a creative, it's fun to watch Alyssa work and see things I, don't, I just don't even see, right, as a photographer. And so that's really cool to sit back and, uh, and, and watch. And the most recent one I think we did was Shutterfest, the more recent one. Uh, we did last year, uh, Alyssa and I, we did it in two completely different images. And I think that is online as well, somewhere in the archives uh, where, we, where we did that. And it, uh, the images came out incredibly amazing both of them uh, but I did win that challenge uh, so hopefully we'll win uh, we'll win this challenge but I do want to share one thing just I'm letting everybody get in here uh, before we can't go live on air Alyssa's in the back she's like I'm starting to get nervous my, my armpits um, are sweating and I'm like I'm like what are you what are you nervous about she's like you've won you've won all the challenges and then my team jumps in no he hasn't you've won one he's won one and then immediately Alyssa's demeanor completely changes and she's like oh well we should probably talk about that on air so she went from hyper nervous to super nervous. super confident uh in it in in all of it um all right so what are we doing what are the rules should be pretty straightforward and again i want you guys asking questions as we go and then Alyssa and i will take uh some some questions in between the, the handover general rules Alyssa's gonna have three to five minutes to work, find her best image. I'm gonna have three to five minutes to work, find my best image. Uh, we're sharing the same model, uh, same. When did we agree to three to five minutes? How much time you think I you think need? we need 10 minutes. 10 it minutes? Like 35 is so you can't, short. Yeah, this is creator series rules. Three to five? Minutes. Creator minutes. series had 10 minutes? 10. Uh, if we're, I vote 10. Please, oh my goodness. Please, please, I vote 10. Cause we're not gonna be able to reset the set, you know? No, 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 you don't, you don't, the time's not going to start when you reset the set. Oh, it's three to five minutes shooting? Of you, well, you got to get your lights going. That's what I'm saying. Okay, ten, 10 minutes. Okay. okay. But if you're at 10 minutes, you have to talk through what you're setting up. You can't okay. just go dark. Okay. Right? Hey? Okay. All right. <laughs> 10 minutes. That's fair, right? What did Creator Series have? Didn't they have eight minutes? Uh, they were. I think 10 is the most hard. I think they had eight minutes. So every time for the creators, they had 10 minutes? Yeah. Okay, fair yeah, enough. Trash, yeah. <laughs> Bethany, winner of the creator series, please confirm your time. She said the shortest we ever got was eight minutes, and I nearly died. <laughs> <laughs> Bethany nearly died with eight minutes. All right, 10 minutes it is. You guys drive a hard bargain. Okay. So we're going to do 10 minutes uh, each, 
And from a gear perspective, uh, we've got a bunch of stuff laying around uh, for us to use. We're gonna be working with more than likely um, one of three or four lenses. So we're shooting everything with the uh, Canon EOS R5. It's tethered, so we're gonna share this camera. Uh, 50 millimeter lens is on. We've got an 85 millimeter lens, uh, 100 millimeter lens, and then just because of space here, Normally, if I'm doing portrait work in the studio, I don't really like going wider than 50. I just don't like the skew. Uh, but in here, we may have to adjust uh, accordingly. Uh, just as you can see here, we're really kind of in a compressed uh, set. Lighting-wise, uh, we can use whatever lighting we want. There is some natural light coming in. I don't really know how good uh, that's gonna look. It's not very, uh, it's kind of flat outside right now. Uh, but I do wanna share with you some stuff before we get going. Uh, we just got, I mean, literally unpacked it. Uh, I don't know if you can see this behind me. Yeah. This is the uh, Westcott L60B uh, continuous light series. Literally just arrived. I'm, I've been taking it out of plastic just before the broadcast. So I was going to use some different lighting and then I'm like, huh, I, what's this, right? So you start opening it up. We just turned it on, started messing with it. And I want to, I mean, I might as well just kind of give you perspective on this. I, I mean, and to give you perspective, this two light kit, we're gonna work with it today. Um, this two light kit. So this little guy, AC powered, uh, it's a two light kit. Uh, depending on how, what kind of modifier you have on it, it's gonna put out about uh, two eight or more of light. That's with a soft box. If you go bare bulb, maybe you're doing stuff at night, uh, things like that, firing through a scrim or bouncing it off something, you're, you're gonna get more or less light. Uh, but at um, ISO 200, 1 25th of a second, I was getting 28 to 40, again, depending on how the modifiers you're, you're shooting through. Here's what I could not believe, and you'll see the results today, so you can decide if you even like this. Um, I love using continuous light in the studio when I can, right? Because what you see is what you get, so that's always fun. But a lot of times the challenge with continuous lighting has been the modifiers, right? So the modifiers don't necessarily work with anything else in your ecosystem, right? If you've got video lights, uh, you've got to have different modifiers. Not always, but typically. And so with the Westcott system, it's legitimately using the same modifiers and uh, setup. So we're using all the switch modifiers uh, that you would use for your um, Westcott 400, the FJ400, the FJ200, all those same modifiers are gonna work. So that was what, I was like, holy shit, that's really cool. So now I'm just kind of swapping in uh, continuous light. But here's, this is God's honest truth. I said to my team, I go, how much is this kit, this two light kit? I don't wanna get on air, tell everybody something and then I'm wrong, because I'm notorious for that. I'm like, ah, it's, a, it's like a hundred bucks. And then it's like a thousand. So I that's not the case here. So a two light kit, backpack, um, the lights go daylight and um, tungsten. Uh, so you've got an entire range of, of light that you can control and you're controlling it on the Kelvin scale. So it'll scroll all the way down and up, up to 6,500. And what was the cost of the kit? $700 for two lights. $700 all in, two lights. Uh, and I believe it came with some modifiers as well. Uh, I think it comes with the... Octa, the small Octa. Yeah. So it comes with a mod modifier as well. So you've got a two light kit, you're ready to go $700 for the, for the backpack, the whole light kit. So I don't know, girls will throw a link in there for you to kind of check out. I just wanted you to see this. If I seem super excited about it, it's not fake. Uh, I truly just opened it when I walked into the studio this morning uh, for this. So pretty excited to be using this today. And then of course on this, I'll pull this up for you in a second. Um, I've got a uh, large or their medium uh, rapid box Octa. So of course, the larger the soft box um, or the modifier, the larger it is, uh, the more you're gonna lose light in there, right? Because it's gotta fill this whole thing. But the flip of that is also the softer the light will be, right? So the larger light source, the softer it'll end up being. So for this, um, you know, I think this will be a very nice um, light source and you'll, you'll see the results. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of share that with you. Any questions before we get going? Because we got to do the official NFL coin flip. Who goes first? Questions? No? Everybody's good? Um, you ready for the coin flip? On who goes first? Are you going like, to call it in the... 
We've got to do like official NFL. I don't know if I can. Heads. I don't know how it's looking on camera. I can't see. Tails. We're just going to assume you can see it. She's not going to let me cheat. I'd be cheating her. I should show you. Heads. This is heads. I gave you the coin. Yeah, it's the, um, it's George Washington. He is heads. Yeah, I gave you the coin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I rigged it in my favor. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. All right, who's calling it? I'm going to call it? I'm going to flip it oh, and call it? No, okay. So I'll you're call calling it. it. I'll call it, yeah. All right, you're going to call it. Yeah. In the air. In the air. Tails. Tails. Wait. What? So tails goes first or Tails chooses who goes first? Tails is the winner, so you can do whatever you want. Okay. Are you, is this like a football game? Are you going to defer? <laughs> I think I might. <laughs> it's it? head. Okay, so what? I win. I'm going to go first. I'm, I should fuck with you and just defer to you. <laughs> I was going to make you go first. You were? Yeah. Well, what are we doing the coin flip floor okay. for? All right, I go first. All right, so let's get uh, Laura out here. So Laura, come on out. Oh, I like the fur. Did I know the fur was going to be part of this? Found it. Love it. All right. Give it up for Laura, everybody. Hi. All right, my girl. You're going to stand. Just stand right there for one second. Uh, so one of the things, and um, I just want to share this with you. I wouldn't, <laughs> it's not something we have time to do on a challenge typically. Uh, but I've produced a few videos recently about like um, data color, spider checker, and getting white balance. And this particular one, I'm assuming, Alyssa, it's big enough in frame. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so there's two pieces to this uh, spider checker, and I just think it's important. It makes your studio shooting, especially studio shooting, uh, a lot more efficient. So here, if you want to get color right, I don't want to get into that right now. They've got software, and we use it in Lightroom. But for this, I'm just going to use tonal range and white balance off this one card. And so when I'm in studio, and I'm going to show you right now how we do it. When I'm in studio, I thought, and this is, I hate to say this, but this is like 69 or 79 dollars but i'm looking at my team because i'm probably wrong um i'm the guy with no value. how much yeah, is it though we're giving away. Yeah, enter to win. oh we're giving one away to we have an enter to win yeah, yeah. Not today, not uh, well you could win this <laughs> bucks, but it's a nine it's 99 dollars. i was close i said like 69 or 79 it's just a couple extra cups of coffee you'll figure it out okay anyway when we start our shoot, I like putting this out there. Now this will just be for white balance this side, right? So I'm gonna take my first frame, and once I get that dialed in, I at least have my black point figured out, my, my white point figured out, uh, and my um, white balance figured out, right? So I'm, so I'm talking about brightness, tonal range, uh, and color. So let's just do it and I'll show you, all right? So you're just gonna hold this here, and then hold it where your fingers aren't touching it, all right? There you go, got that, perfect. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you've got, got it lit, you know, pretty much the way you're gonna want. Uh, and then what you do here is you're just gonna take a picture of this. One, two, okay. And then this is gonna show up right on my machine, thank you. And remember, you're only gonna do this once on an indoor shoot because your lighting uh, should be somewhat continuous. So what'll end up happening here, right, is I'm just gonna crop into this and this helps me get white balance right. Now, you could say, hey, you're, you're, you know, you're, shooting, you're shooting raw, you can do this later. Yeah, that's the point. I'm not gonna do this in the middle of the shoot, but this becomes my reference card, right? So if you think about like food photographers, especially where the color of an apple, the color of, of a pear or whatever they're photographing matters, they're gonna drop one of these color cards. It's not uncommon. They're gonna drop one of these color cards flat on the table surface or wherever they're shooting, however they're shooting, so that it's a reference point moving forward. This took, obviously I'm talking through it, but this takes less than 30 seconds. And now it's in there, even if you outsource, right? So obviously I'm not the one sitting here um, gonna edit all these. These are gonna go up to my editing team, but now they can use this reference card uh, if they want. So let me show you how we would use this. Uh, we would come in and go, uh, right, I cropped in here, W, right, for white balance. And so I'm going to click on the gray, but I won't do that first. And there's a reason to it, because I want to get my black points and white points right first, right? So in the top right-hand corner here, I want you to pay attention to the numbers. When I hover over white, and if you want to open up Lightroom as we're doing this, uh, if you care, um, notice, you could see this is actually a little underexposed because my white is hovering at around uh, 70. I need that to be at about 90. So I'm going to lift exposure a little. Half stop. It's at 80. 
So really, uh, white um, exposure was off, and I know why. Because when I was taking the picture, I wasn't focused on her eyeball. I was actually focused on a, uh, the white of the card. And so, of course, it's underexposed to everything. But that, that's OK. Uh, what we want to do is get this card to be our reference point uh, moving forward. But you know what? We're not going to jimmy rig it. We're going to do shit right. I'm going to take another picture. Hold that as close to your kind of facial plane. I'm going to have you there. Yeah, perfect. So what I'm going to do is put the focus point, bring it even closer to your face. Yeah, right there. I'm going to get that on her face so we got the same kind of light and exposure, right? Yep, and sure enough, I'm looking in camera. And, give me that. And the exposure, you can't hang on. You can't keep the card, Laura. Uh, and sure enough, you can see here, uh, the first one was shot at 1 400th of a second when I had the focus point on the target. And this dropped almost a full stop. And that makes, that makes a little bit more sense, right? So you're seeing how important exposure can be uh, to, to color, right, and white balance. You know, a lot of people don't realize that. Like, um, white balance and exposure are not unrelated. All right, so here we go. So now I'm hovering over this white. I'm at uh, 80, not far off. I'm going to lift this maybe uh, kind of 0.4. Now I'm going to look at my black point, and I want that to usually be around five, right? So your black point and your and your white are really going to be, get you to a point where you are having the correct tonal range, right? So you ever see like your images, maybe they look flat or they're not punchy. That, it's your tonal range that's off, right? So again, this serves as a starting point that you're going to be able to sync across images uh, that way, right? Especially if now you get into manual exposure everything's going to be the same across all the images. And then finally, white balance. We're just going to come in here, hit W in Lightroom, click on that, and it cooled the image off a little bit, went to 5300 plus 14. And I'll show you how I would use that uh, moving forward. This becomes my starting point for all my images. So hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, ask questions. I will talk through it. But I'm going to, we got to start my clock, Alyssa. Oh, I get to be the timer? I'll let the girls be the timer. Okay. We'll have like a neutral. Uh, third party. Yeah. All right. All right. So I have 10 minutes. 10 minutes starting now. Go. Just started. Okay. <laughs> we got to rock this. You ready? Yeah. All right. So let's see. I want to see if we can get a couple of full frames. One, I want to start full body with you. Okay. Uh, so why don't I have you right there? And what I want to do is I want to work your hips, right? So I want to get you here like this, very hourglass. Love that. Beautiful. I love the hands here and the small of your back. Beautiful. Don't move. Get this going. Good, and I'm gonna move some of these kind of props a little bit behind her uh, so that they're a little blurry and out of focus. We'll see how that looks. I'm sure all the Creator Series people who watch and are like, good, it's about time. <laughs> Sal had pressure on him. Okay, let's see what we got. Here's a first frame. I love this out of you, stay there for me. Let me get a test shot, one, two. Gorgeous, one, two. And what I'm watching here, so this is going to be interesting because I'm going to lose time. Let's see. You wanted three to five minutes. <laughs> I did want three to five minutes. Hey, I'll still stick to the three to five minutes. No, I can't do it. Okay. Your lights are already set up. So now as I'm shooting, right, you see what I'm doing. I'm working through this shot. This chair adds no value to the shot. Um, it's kind of very, very distracting in there. Uh, and I'm not, I don't know if the random tubes add anything in there too. This is like, what do they call that musical instrument? Like where it's like, Ricola. What is it? I don't know. Didgeridoo? 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 I'm wasting time. Okay. Here we go. They add a lot to the All right. Here we go. So let's see. Love the expression on you as well. And what I'm going to have you do for these is I want you looking at camera. And then I want you, oh, there's the way it's got to go. And then I want you kind of slowly looking towards that light. Let your chin turn everything. All right, so here we go. Chin out and down. Gorgeous right there. One, two. One, two. Good. Looking away for me. Yes, love that right there. One, two. One, two. Turn your lower body this way. So let's get it this way. Switch legs for me. Yep. Let your belly button go this way. Gorgeous. Pop that hip more. Yep. 
Let this right shoulder come forward. You're okay. Good. Open the chest to me now. Yep, twist. Yes, good, right there. I knew you're in heels. Can you lock that right leg, but on that left leg, get on that toe a little? No, the other way. So I want it softer on the toe, almost like it's just reaching out. Yes, gorgeous. It's a balancing act. Chin down and more left. Yep, eyes up. Gorgeous, right there. Here we go. One, two. Stay there. Here we go. Give me your eyes, looking at me. Chin this way, just a dinch, right there, stunning. I want to reset your body. I screwed you up. Go ahead. Let the legs switch back to the way they were. I like, no, come over with it. Yeah. Can that foot loop back? Yeah. On the toe, loop back. This way. Yes. Love that. Stunning. Love the chin up as well. Let the eyes go up. Yes. Right there. Gorgeous. Here we go. One, two. Looking at me now. Eyes at me. Right there, right there, stunning. Stay there, gorgeous. Okay, stay there. Time, how come no one's giving me time checks, man? You know, when I was on the Creator Series, <laughs> I was yelling time nonstop. Yeah, six minutes. You sure that's the one you want? <laughs> oh, I'm not, I'm not done. You like that one? Me and Laura are going. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> when you switch. switch lenses. To what? 100 millimeter. Yes, mm -hmm. right there, beautiful, one, two. Stay there. Yes, right there, Laura. Beautiful. Stay there. Gorgeous. Eyes away. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Love that, Laura. Stay with it. Eyes at me. Beautiful. Okay. How much time? Five. Am I, is camera hot? Five and a half minutes. So you're in pip on that. Oh, I'm in pip. Five and a half minutes? Come on. Where's Bethany now? We got forever. lights were already set We got forever, that's, man. That's we got forever. Me and Laura could go get a, a, a break in the right. back. Look at that catch light. That's Isn't that cool. beautiful? Yeah. I think it's coming out good. Laura, you're rocking it, girl. All right, let's do something since we got so much time. Mm, Leroy's in there. So, Laura, what I'm thinking for this, this could be fun, is having you, you probably want to put this on. So is having you on the edge of the chair, right? Maybe without fur. Maybe we go without fur. Maybe the fur's over your shoulder. We'll mess with it. But yes, we'll take that off for sure. Uh, edge of the chair, right? Because I don't want you getting back in here and yeah. scrunched. So kind of edge of the chair. But I want this leg kind of somehow. I don't want it going all the way back yeah. awkwardly. Yeah. But I just want angles. See how I'm creating angles with my body? And then we're either going to come in here, right? Or somehow here. I don't want to lose this arm, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so we'll keep you in here. So let's see what that looks like. Okay. Go ahead, give me the fur. Four and a half minutes. All right, four and a half minutes. Me and Laura, we're going for the haymaker here. Love the, love the body. Top's good. Love that right hand. Love that left hand. No, keep that right hand where it was. I like that. Good. And what if we go like kind of here? Give me time every minute. Four minutes. Four minutes. What if you lock that left elbow? No, lock it. Too much. Soften it. Yeah, yeah I like that. You double jointed. <laughs> All right, good. Big in the shoulders. Good. Lean into me at your waist. Too much. Go back a little bit. Good. Let this hand now slide out towards me a little. Yep. Hand looks beautiful. Uh, let's maybe get this off. Chin down. Oh, I like that. Okay. So now. I'm gonna get this light. You're probably gonna lose Laura for a minute on your camera. Okay. I don't know if Laura likes that. I feel like Laura, <laughs> Laura wants her face part of the frame, or else we're like, Laura, you're a butterface, but that's not true. So, <laughs> do you understand that? Does yeah, that joke? Okay. That. Laura is Romanian, so you can't make like you know American jokes, and then she's like, Haha, very funny, stupid American. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. What? Three minutes. And Brody said you gotta be in the back of your oh, don't you worry, Brody. Good. Here we go. Soften that expression for me just a little bit. I want you a little more playful with it. Good. Chin down. 
Good, stay there. Hang tight. There we go, there we go, there we go. Beautiful. Looking towards that light, chin up, at it. Oh, I like that, I like that. Stay there with it. Back of me one last time. Chin down. Love that. Close your eyes. Looking down to your right. Yep, right there. Close your eyes, but I want you almost looking down at the floor. Yes, right there, right there. Beautiful. There we go. One, two, one, two. Eyes up at me. One, two. Right there. A little more, a little more. Yes, Laura. Beautiful. Two minutes. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to call it at eight. Let's give it up for which, what's on? Okay. Keep that. I'll come back to it. Keep that. I'll come back to it. Calling it early, man. I'm happy with what I got. Laura, you did awesome, girl. I know. Matt, Matt, or I. I could go home on this. Um, at the Creator Series, the first episode, Matt was like, that's a wrap, I got it. And uh, he went home early. So hopefully that's not gonna be me. No, I'm happy with what I got. I've got a confined space. I don't have, I, there's not all these places I can go. So I use that eight minutes. Very, very happy with what I got. Let's check it out. We'll kind of review it for a little bit. Let Alyssa worry a little bit more about her turn. Oh God, I'm really nervous. She's really nervous. Um, and we'll go from there. So, Laura, you want to kind of, yeah. you can sneak by me here, come see some of these. So, if we talk through what we did. So, we started up here uh, with Laura, just kind of getting a feel for things. And then, you know, you can, this is really good, I think, uh, for you guys to watch me, me work, right? Because we're all guilty of this. I'm cutting her off at the legs, right? So, this is kind of interesting to, uh, to watch the process. So I have a 50 millimeter lens, I'm getting started, the timer's going, the pressure's on, right? Even though I've been doing this, my gosh, I'm in my 16th year as a working professional. Um, you still, your adrenaline still gets going, you get, and then you start missing details, right? So I'm like, oh, light looks good, pretty girl, pretty dress, go! Um, and uh, what did I do? I'm cutting off her legs, and I caught it, right? And then I had to move back, and I don't know if you saw it on air or not, but the reason is this is such a compressed set, but that's just bullshit excuses, right? adjust and move. So I moved the bag out of the way. I moved back to try and make sure we got her uh, full body in this. Now, in fairness, this is not necessarily an unusable image. It's an unusable image as it is being presented, right? And that's the beauty. So when we talk about megapixels, right? How many more megapixels do you need, right? Uh, or video cameras that are, are you know, um, capturing at 8K or you're like, well, there's not even an 8K TVs, which maybe there are now, I don't even know, but it's not the point. The reason you're, you're using all these megapixels is it gives you latitude to crop in on an image. So you could make the argument like, yeah, I can take this picture on my iPhone, right, but the optics don't look the same, right? The lenses are not gonna look the same, the clarity's not gonna look the same, so all megapixels are not equal, right? So just so you've got the latest and greatest iPhone that's got eight gajillion megapixels if they're shitty megapixels, who cares, right? By the way, it's the same with 35 millimeter cameras and like medium format um, that are claiming the same. If you've ever looked at an image, a raw image on a medium format camera, it looks completely different than a raw image on a 35 millimeter sensor. It's just the reality, it's the size of the pixels. Size matters, okay. So, what's that? Oh, hang the if you got questions, throw them in the chat, I'll come to them in one second. So this is what I'm saying now. Now I could reposition this image because it's got plenty of megapixels here. I can now reposition this and now that crop doesn't look as bad, right? It's not, it doesn't look like a mistake. It actually looks like, hey, it's a, it's a tighter shot. It's a square shot. This is good for Instagram, things like that, right? So I'm gonna be honest with you as I always am. I made the mistake. I cut her off at her legs. I'm not gonna bullshit and you'd be like, no, that's what I had planned. Um, it was a mistake. So, but I corrected the mistake, right? As we got right here. And then there was another mistake. I started shooting this. Again, I love showing you guys this. And I know the whole point of this is like to watch me and Alyssa go at each other, but I think, I hope it's up to you that you see value in me critiquing my own mistakes, right? Because that's what's happening here. This pose I put her in was not flattering. 
right? So she's got uh, a very curvy body and I just made the left side of her body look like, like it's as wide as a truck, uh, which I don't think uh, Laura's gonna like. She's gonna be like, Sal, what the fuck are you doing uh, to me? But this ba very bad pose and I don't know if you caught it. I was like, hey, I fucked that up. I want you to go back to what you were doing, new, doing normally. And now those are two completely different looks of her body uh, based on what I was doing, right? So Alyssa's getting all the tips here. In, not, doing not doing any of them? You got your own ideas? Yeah. Then I love, this is like, this is me. I love this. This is my style of portrait all the time. Standard beauty portrait, um, right, right out of the gate. We've got great lighting on her, good catch lights in the eyes so we don't have dead eyeballs, um, right? So things are just, you know, really... This one, I believe, let me get this up here. I don't know why. So this was the macro lens from Canon, uh, 2 8, 80th of a second. Damn, that's sharp, right? I mean, that is just really, really good. Great pore detail. <coughs> so this image is gonna retouch incredibly well uh, for her. Right, and then we went a little vertical with it, looking away. Then we got in super tight. Love this kind of stuff, guys. Let this render. Okay, so then I went into my last pose. Love these, looking away, looking at camera, looking down. I kind of like that too, a little moody. Like this, and then I got this out of her last expression, a little more smirky. I like that. See, here you look like angry European, <laughs> right? And here, a little more sexy, a little more sassy, okay? All right, you did great. Okay, so I know you guys got some questions. Hit me real quick before we get Alyssa up here. So the question is, what's the reading on ambient light and camera setup? So ambient, we are, I'll use my light meter. Well, I'll do it while the light's on first. So light meter, we are getting uh, 2.0, uh, almost 2.8 at ISO 200, 1 25th of a second, right? So turn this off, 2.8 at 1 25th of a second. Without, it's at 0.7 everything else the same, 1 25th of a second. Uh, so you're, you're talking about almost two stops of light difference uh, with her, right? So keep that in mind. So you're going from 0.7 to, to almost 2.8. Uh, so that, so the, the ambient in the room is not leaking into that picture. At 1 25th of a second, you might be letting uh, a little bit in, but you can see it's, it's negligible. Uh, if I wanted to get rid of that, <coughs> typically we'd go, above 200th of a second uh, to get rid of that. And if we were doing flash, manual, that kind of stuff, that's what we would do. Great question though. Any other questions? So, <clears throat> so the question is, do I ever shoot with digital medium format? Uh, I used to for many, many years. In fact, sitting on my shelf is a old phase one. Um, I think it's the IQ 250 maybe is the version of it, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, so absolutely love that camera. It's a pain in the ass, the images are huge. So you're not gonna really do that on portraits, although I was maybe still to this day the only wedding photographer in the world that had, we went to a wedding, we photographed an entire wedding with two phase one IQ 250s, uh, shot the entire wedding from beginning of the day through reception. Uh, and that was, that was quite the uh, feat. As you can imagine, we were chugging along through memory cards uh, and the whole post-production process, but we just wanted to prove we can do it. Images were beautiful, the detail's incredible. It's just not practical for day to day. If you're a landscape portrait uh, or landscape photographer, uh, still life photographer, I think there's uh, of course application there, but it, as a wedding photographer, uh, generic portraits, uh, you know, like family sessions, things like that, very difficult uh, to make those work. Not impossible, just difficult. That's it. All right, next up, we're gonna bring the real queen of this operation up. You ready? Yeah. Where are you going to put this? Um, probably like right there. All right. I got Is it okay if it's just hanging? If? Like 
the oh, wires hanging? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Okay. Let's put this in the front. Then. Yeah, put that in the front. But we got to flip this over for you. Okay. So do I get like built-in extra time? Built-in extra time? Because your lights are already set. Come on now. <laughs> Ten minutes. So, you know, don't make the creator. Give me. Give, don't make the creators. <laughs> Alicia has a good idea. To give, give you, my, give you my extra two. two minutes. That's marriage. That's marriage. Yeah. All right. Marriage. All right. That should. Let's put you up here. All right. So that should be good. I would just be careful. If you're going to change lenses, don't turn the camera off. You'll lose the tether. Ooh. Okay. Well, that's tricky. So that's okay. It's not, it's not really tricky. No, but it's okay. It's not going to like yeah, harm I anything. Did it. Okay. Um. Okay. So All right. Timer's going to start. I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. You ready? No. Okay. Hey Siri, set. Hey Siri, set timer. Twelve minutes. Aww. That's so sweet. Okay, so I am not super techy. I'm not gonna be able to talk through a lot of like metering. I don't use meters. So that's kind of the beauty of continuous light that I like so much about it is what you see is what you get. So um, you're able to play around in real time and put the light where you want it and you're seeing in real time how the light is shaping her body, how it's illuminating her face. So I'm a huge fan of continuous light. Um, I used to be just a huge fan of natural light, but I find natural light to be very dull and flat and boring. Continuous light is essentially just natural light. You're just adding an extra pop into your images. So what I'm thinking is um, she's got this like old Hollywood glam look going with it. So what I want to do is use two lights here. Um, I'm going to have you probably, are you comfortable like getting on the floor and sitting on your hip? Okay. So I'm going to get low for this one and utilize the, the sweep aspect of this, this uh, drop. So, and here's something to, to note while I'm doing this. You've got all this natural light pouring in from the windows, so you don't wanna try to fight that by lighting her from this side. Um, so I'm gonna continue with my main light, mimicking the light that's coming in. So that's gotta be coming this way. So I want her body to be going towards the light so that she can be facing back into it. I want her, does that make sense? I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but you'll see it exactly, yes. Um, I need your legs super long, and what I'm gonna do instead of, I think instead of the you wearing the coat, yeah. maybe start wearing it, but I'm gonna have this up here for now to give you something to like lean on and just mm -hmm. um, use your forearm. Yeah, exactly. And then bring your, I need you on your hip more, so you're leaning into me. Yes, exactly. And then bring your toes out a little bit more this way. Yep. Can you get your left leg up? Like, uh, not up, I'm sorry, bent more? Yeah. Like yes, keep your right leg straighter. There you go, exactly. Let me see. Actually, bring your foot in front of the other one. Yes, right there, exactly. Yep, and point your toes. Pro tip, if your model is not pointing their toes, it it completely changes the, the image, and I'll take a picture to show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, so I like this, this here, and the reason I'm getting her posed first is because my lighting is gonna depend on how I have her laying on the ground. All right, you always wanna show a little bit of shoulder. I find with women, it makes Nine them- Nine minutes, teacher. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. It makes women look more um, slender. When If you put a big bulky coat on, on her, She's gonna look all heavy, kind of like I've got with this big sweater on right now. And it's just not as flattering as showing a little bit of skin. Okay, so she's down low. So this light needs to get lowered. What might your needs be? Um, 50, probably, maybe, wow. maybe 85 even. Well, I'll leave 50 on too. Okay, so oh, 50 is what's on it? Yeah. Okay. So with this, I want to try to get as close as I possibly can to soften that light. Um, but again, I don't want I don't want to like blast the bottom of her. So what I'm going to do here is just tilt up with the light. I'm new to this one. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. So if I tilt up, it's going to feather across her face and not blast her midsection. So for this one. Uh, let's see. 
I made this as complicated as possible. <laughs> I want to get this slide off because I want to use this one as a kicker on the opposite side. And let's see. It's so bright. So I'm using the reflect the zoom reflector thingy to just really make it that light a little bit more specular. Zoom reflector thingy. I think that's what it's called. I really don't know what it's called. Yeah, definitely thingy. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't. I if I unplug the camera, I'm so sorry. You unplug the camera. No, I'm saying. Oh, true. I hope I don't unplug the camera. See, this is what I'm talking about. So I had like 30 minutes to set up before I did. It should be okay. All right. Man, I would never have survived on Creator Series. <laughs> I would have crumbled. <laughs> Props to everybody. I'm, are you comfortable? I know I'm kind of putting you in an awkward position. So the, the edge light is, ah, I hate pressure. This light is opposite fill. And as you can see, it is blasting her. I just want this kind of skimming because I also want the background to not go too dark. So, let me see your head up real quick, Laura. I'm looking straight ahead. So I don't want it hitting too much of the front of her face. I really just want this skimming kind of that top of her head and on the backdrop. So. Again, so you're seeing in real time, this is why I like continuous light. What you see is what you get. Okay. Let me see your head up real quick. Nice, very pretty. What? Oh yeah, it's way down. That one's down. This one I need to get a little bit, whoop, brighter. And then I'm gonna take this off. Let me see you. See that hard light hitting right across her chest? That's because I took that diffusion off. So I want the power, but I don't want those sh harsh shadows. Okay, I'm gonna start shooting. Let me get a test shot. Test shot, one, two. Okay. Can I hit play on this? Yeah. No, okay, so I gotta wait. Yeah. So when you're doing a test shot and you're tethered, you just gotta. Yep. Okay, cool. All right, so here's what I'm seeing in this the light on the background is too harsh. Damn, that's looking good. Um, so, Laura, your, f your left leg, I need that knee bent a little bit more, the other leg. But not, don't bring your foot back. Yes, exactly. I just need more curves in your body. Yes, exactly what you just did. And I like the top hand kind of forming along your hip. Yes, beautiful. But bring it forward a little bit more. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Uh, so some here more. Three and a half minutes. Oh my God. I hope this picture looks good because I'm putting all my eggs in one basket here. What are you doing? I'm, I can't stand by. What if that was a creative, artistic decision? It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, because I'm low, oh, I got, oh, yeah. 
You don't have to do that anymore. I was going to lay on the ground. Don't need to. <laughs> the new, not new, but new feature for me that uh, articulating, is that what it's called? Screen with the cannon. I don't have to lay on the ground anymore. But I do want to get super low here. Okay. Awesome. I love the way this looks. Okay, so your hand that's on the, yes. Can you bring it into you a little bit more so it pushes you up? Yes, and then I need it very dainty, like this. Yeah. Uh, yes, I love that. Same with that hand, break your wrist up a little bit. Wrist up. You're going down, go up. Oh. Yep, perfect. And then kind of soften the hands, there you go, perfect. And let me see your face a little bit more this way. Nope, go back this way. And eyes up at the light, too much. Come down a little bit, right there. One, two. Love that. Give me, keep your face there. Give me just your eyes. Soft, smirky smile. Beautiful. Put that pointer finger down. Yes, right there. Cutting off the bottom of her body. Cutting off the bottom of her body? Yeah. I don't see it. Okay, we're going to get in a little bit closer here. Chin down, yes, right there. Let me see this elbow out, or keep your elbow, yes, right there. Yep, I love that. Chin down, right there. Okay, so I like this. Now I want to add another element into it. How much time do I have? You have one minute. Oh, shit, okay. It's snowing. I really want to use this, but they're going everywhere. Uh, thank God for vacuums. Okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, I love shooting through things. I think you know this by now. So we're going to try this. It might be too much. We're going to try it. I have one minute. So always get your shot and then experiment. One, two. Oh God. Yes, looking at the light. Keep your face there, give me just your eyes. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Hey, I came and teched for you, I just want you to know that. Five seconds. Ah! Three, two, one, time. Okay, fine. Okay, thank you for trooping it out. No, don't let her up. No? No, let's fix it. Get back there. Fix it? Yeah. Fix it? But you didn't even come see. I, I, what do you think I've been watching? I'm, <sighs> on, I'm on the computer. Oh. Uh, I'll put these up. I'm so sorry for the feathers. Why do I need to be fixed? Hey, I, I critiqued my own work as soon as we came off air. You said I was cutting off her body? Yeah. Huge miss. That's the roll. Yeah, and then I would cut right here. I don't. Oh, I don't why, see that. Why cut her? Why? Why cut her foot off and not have the leading line up to her? I don't know. I don't, it doesn't bother me. Okay. I would crop there. Let me. Let me do this. In here. Okay. You pick your image. heavy breathing into the mic right now. I don't know. Is that your image? Well, I don't know. I actually kind of like some of these better. Dude, I think you missed the most obvious shot with her. I spent so much time setting up my light, Oh, bro. come on. You had 12 minutes, bro. <laughs> All right, here we go. Like, you'll pick your image. The, the, come here. We need the mic. Oh, I'm sure they can hear you. Here. <laughs> they need the image. Um, you'll pick your final image. Okay. Uh, I'll pick my final image. It'll get okay. edited. Okay. Um, but let's get a collaborative final image okay. uh, with her. Can I do the next step what I would have done if I had more time? No. It's over. 
Why not? We got, it's I over. Have a really good idea. No, no, you're not going to use the what if. That's like no, every I won't creator. use it. I won't use it. It's just no, no. okay. Collaborative. Go back your post. Can we so, do? Can, I feel like you had, like you set it up and you didn't even realize it. Uh, and then, like you said, old Hollywood glam, right? And then you came here and you pulled this off and you set it up right across like her chest line. I hate that seat. shadow though. I know, but I think you missed like a really cool opportunity here for shadows and highlights. And I hate the shadow on the background. I know, but work through it. Maybe it sucks. I don't know, right? So what I'm seeing is... Do you like it? No, no, I, I like that. I would, I would want to put this light here on her, okay? I want you looking towards that light. Turn your chin more. Yeah, right there. See, so I don't know if they can see on camera. Turn square camera. Right there. See how we start getting a little bit of that light leak? I don't particularly care for that. Uh, and you start getting long shadows on the nose because of the direction of that light, right? So you can do a couple of things. Have her look that way, but then move the light more this way. But I want to embrace this kind of like old Hollywood. So expose for her skin, and I think everything else will end up going a little bit darker. Do I get to shoot this? Sure. Yeah. Um, no, I'm kidding. You can do and it. So, and then the other thing was that I think was a miss. So hang on, hang on. To this, to this point with the shadows, this is what I was seeing as I was setting it up, and I hate it. But she looked to the light. I didn't have her do that when I was setting it up. And when she's looking to the light, look that way, that's beautiful. Right. So, but I, I'm, I'm just not a huge fan of like really harsh shadows well, on an see, open maybe chest. Maybe it sucks, maybe it doesn't, but you I shoot it. With it. So now I gotta shoot it. Yeah. And then the other miss, I think, was hands. See both fingers, she's finger gunning. Yeah, she's I like, had her fix that one. Cha -cha. I had her fix the. Okay, but the trick, hard boiled egg under the hands, right? Soften the hands. Mm -hmm. But, so let's work off that. Like you, like I'm just sitting there and I'm sure everybody watching me, same thing, right? When you're, when you're under the gun and you've got eight minutes like I had or 12 minutes like you had. Oh, shut up. Uh, oh you, my you, God. <laughs> you have my mind. Oh, you that's have right. to stay here. Sorry. We talked about this before we went on air that we'd have to stand together. Um, so when you, when you have that pressure, man, you're just, everybody's watching me work or watching you work and they're probably like, do this, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's so much easier when you're not doing it yourself. It's always hard. So of course I'm sitting in the back. I'm like, do this, yeah. right? So uh, let's go that route. Do you want the mic? Sure. Okay. Let's look to the other side. Uh, yes. So I will do this. Sorry if you're hearing some feedback, guys. Um, and then, so let's make this work together, which is truly more indicative of how Alyssa and I work anyway, is we're normally working together. Camera doesn't matter, let's get the pose right. So, so I see the shot down here. Go ahead. The shot I was gonna get to was taking the, the fur off completely and laying it over the box so that it was more of an element and not choking her out. I so see. Um, I don't, so then we'll adjust after that. Okay. Uh, so we'll get two frames here. And so what I want with the legs is if you can get, you stay on your right hip the way you are, so that's perfect. I want more of this. Okay, so beautiful there. Get down low, and the key here is making sure, in a sense, that you're underexposed, right? Um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing right there. Get to her face. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, get it. So this is what I was seeing when you were setting everything up. So I really do like the darkness and uh, straighten this out a little bit and moodiness of this. I'm going to fix her feet. I don't like the feet. I don't like the hands. That glare, on the feet going down that glare is that light from behind, right? So you, we got to be conscious of that uh, when we're setting her up and posing. Um, so go ahead, get back into that. Yeah. I think this one, this knee is what's bothering me here. So I'm gonna have you here, I think. Yeah, right there. Now go and lean on that. Maybe there, 
Okay. Here, I want this hand here. And the trick I always tell people is to make sure they feel like you have a hard boiled egg under your hand and then just relax the fingers. Yeah, we need a little bit of point. Yeah, maybe like that. Maybe like that. Good. And this hand, right? Don't go T-Rex with it where you're like, what? right? So just yeah. let it, just gotta let it hang, tilt it up just a little bit. Yeah. And maybe the finger is up on that one. Looks too. Let me see. No, you're clear. That hand looks good. What if that hand starts coming back a little bit on, towards your hip? Yeah. Maybe down towards the side of your hip. Yeah. Lift it and just come back down naturally. Right there, right there. Flatten it. Yeah, that looks better. Good. This hand's still T-Rex. Flatten it up this way. Flat. Yep. Yeah. Now up. Yeah. I like that. Good. Good. Chin this way. Right there. I love where you're looking. Eyes maybe there. Love that too. So now just do me a favor. Get that. Watch her cheekbone. It's got to twist away. Yeah, right there. I'm going to move this closer. Is this enough light to start there? Let's see. Okay, and I'm underexposing this. Let's create a little bit of that. Hands look good. That left foot, I can't get it right. What if you get ankle to ankle? Yes. Let me see that. What if one leg goes over the other? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now we're cooking. Right there. Beautiful. I like this a lot. Here we go. That right hand, twist palm, right there. Twist it down. Right there, right there, right there. Down more. Right there. Gorgeous. Hold that expression. Stunning. She looks very, like, 19... 20s annoyed, right? <laughs> there you go. Okay. So that's what I saw in my mind. Did that take 12 minutes for you to get? Did not take 12 minutes for me to get. And I can't use it in the, uh, in the final image, Alyssa. I'm just saying what I was seeing. We have... We're done. We have two minutes. So come on, come on out. Oh, do you want to rap with me? Yeah. All right. Laura, yeah, let me help you up. Great job. You did awesome. No, we are not picking them now. Um, we will pick them. So you can't vote for the winner yet. We got to edit them. You can vote. Preemptively voting. I mean, you haven't seen the final image. How do you know? Unless you voted for me. Did they vote for me? No. They voted for Alyssa? Yeah. What? That's, what? that's what happens when you're boring. Oh, my God. When I'm boring? <laughs> no, just kidding. All right. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, tons of cool products. I really do like these Westcott lights. I hope you do as well. Make Very sure versatile. You check out the links. Uh, they're throwing it in the chat. Everything you can order from Pixel Connection. They yeah. are an awesome partner. Support the channel because when you're buying it using that link or going there, they're knowing you're coming from us, and uh, we appreciate that or else this becomes hard to do, the free content. So. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if we don't see or talk to you before uh, Christmas, Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, hopefully Santa treats everybody well. Um, no coal for you, but maybe some for Alyssa if she wins the challenge. I'm just kidding. Anyway, great time, guys. We will see you. Where are we going to post the final images? Ah, we will post this YouTube video in its entirety on my channel and give us the next couple of days. And at the end will be your ability to vote with the final two images. So vote for the winning image. See you later. And give it up for Laura in the comments. She did awesome.